Welcome to Veracity Network's second tutorial on VCAS, our unified communications platform. This uh, tutorial will be covering contact management, how to add and communicate with your contacts, sort them, and so forth. Uh, if you're not familiar with how to log in or, or the basics of using uh, our unified communication system, I suggest watching tutorial number one, which will uh, introduce you and give you an overview. There's also some later tutorials we have coming, uh, one for chats, one for call management, including transfers and conference calls, and similar type of stuff. And the last one will be for call handling options, such as cell phone integration, call forwarding, and do not disturb. So we'll start here in the main interface. Uh, usually when you open up VCAS, it'll take you straight into the contacts as your main place. But if not, you can always just click on the little head and shoulders icon. It'll take you to the contacts. And in the new version, 1.3 and higher, you can also click contacts here to get in and show your contacts too. Um, here's where you can, for instance, sort of my first name or last name. You can decide whether you want them to uh, showing your offline contacts, the profile photos, statuses. Uh, you can also add new contacts, new groups. In this case, I've got several groups set up. I'll be showing you how to set up groups, which can be a handy way of, of uh, keeping track of a bunch of different people. So inside the main area here, I've got a favorites group. Put myself in there for the time being. I'll show you how to add more in a bit. We have the sales demo group. And we have my Veracity group, which is everybody that uh, I've got on my team here. And clicking on this last arrow, I can show all contacts at once. So you can easily uh, control this sort of thing by creating groups. And we'll start by creating a group. You can either click the little plus sign to add. Clear enough a group. The older versions, that's how you would do that. You can also come up here to the contacts menu and we're going to add a new group and we're going to call this group YouTube since this will be on YouTube here in a bit so I've created the YouTube group and now I'm going to go in you can see the YouTube group doesn't have anybody in there yet so I'm going to start by right clicking on my contact and I'm going to add it to a group I could remove it from the groups another group but I'm going to add it to my YouTube group and you can do the same with, for instance, my demo agent number 22, which is, as you can see, if you put your pointer over one of the people in your groups or a contact list, you can see their little picture if they have one up there. Some people do that and some don't. I personally like having that, but in a bigger organization, it can be really handy to have a good picture. But then again, you can also come up here and do cartoon figures type pictures. And as we've done here in this one, and you can just leave it blank too, but that's all covered in the first tutorial. So I've got my YouTube group. I've added somebody. I add somebody else to the group. And bingo, they're in there. But I've decided I don't want this group anymore. So I'm removing YouTube by right clicking on it. And I've just removed that group. So it's pretty much that simple. As you can also see with the, the different people, if you have status view enabled, you can see, for instance, my agent here, because he's got a green flag, that means he's available. He's not on a phone. Uh, he's not in a meeting. He, uh, you can tell from the little, it looks like a little mobile device inside the little green flag. That means he's connected by the, the smartphone application, which I happen to know is an iPhone. Could be an Android, too. But those are different tutorials that will be upcoming for the VCAS Unified Communicator for smartphones. This is the desktop version for PCs and Macintoshes, version 1.3 and higher eventually. You can also see uh, my teammate Amy. She's red as in busy. That's because she has Outlook integration on and she has a calendar event showing her as busy. So you see the little keyboard in there. That means that she's scheduled in a meeting according to Outlook. And if it was just plain red or red with the phone sometimes, depending on your version, uh, that would mean they're on a phone call. But you can always reset your statuses up here. Like mine's are showing available. If I had an Outlook meeting schedule right now for my Supervisor 22 demo, then it would be showing as red. But you can always override that by just clicking the little drop down and saying, hey, I'm busy. You can also, with your contacts, you can right click on them and view their profile or edit their profile. You can delete them entirely from your contacts or simply unsubscribe. Unsubscribe means that you're no longer showing your, your present status. 
people that aren't showing their present status, you'll see a little gray flag with a question mark in it. If there's no question mark, that just means they're simply offline or they're not logged in. And from, by right-clicking on your contacts, you can call them. You can chat with them by clicking on chat, or you can just double-click on them to chat with them, which I'll be showing here, uh, here in a bit. But that's the third tutorial, so I'm just going to do it very briefly on that. And there's also orange, meaning that they're uh, not so much that they're offline, so much as they've been away from their computer for things like 10 minutes. It depends on how you set that. So we're going to add some contacts. There's a couple different ways you can do it. As I showed you before, you can click the plus sign and do add contact. That's helpful for people that are outside of your, your enterprise, your, your Veracity uh, uh, enterprise, uh, the people in your company that have VCAS or the Unified Communicator. You can come in and add contact and just put their information in there, such as display name. I'm going to call this one mom. First name mom. Last name Dearest. I put her phone number here. Or I could put her extension if she's on the same phone network as I am. I could put her mobile phone here. Put her address in there if I wanted to and her email address. And we're going to skip on that. And instead, we're going to do a search. I'm going to search my enterprise. There's only one person in my enterprise that has a J in their name like that. Let me try A. Oh, there's Amy. There's the demo lab. There's the sales demo. And I've already got my Agent 22 in there. Sales Demo Agent 22, as you saw before. So I'm going to pull up a guy that just started working with us. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click on him. And I could call him or chat him from here, or view his profile. But I'm going to choose Add Contact. Now his status is question mark because he hadn't accepted me yet to show his status. And right now he's not in any group. He's just in my all contacts. So I'm going to click the little arrow and scroll down. And I'm going to move him over to the Veracity group. And you can see here it's showing pending. That's because he's uh, probably hadn't even seen this yet. And so that's the basics of uh, contact management. Thank you.